For more now, I'm joined by Aydan Urzos. She's a Social Democrat member of Germany's Parliament, the Bundestag, and a former government commissioner for migration, refugees, and integration. Thanks for being with us this morning. Ms. Urzos, many had hoped that the Hanau attack would mark a turning point in Germany's approach to far-right violence. Was it a turning point? No, I fear it was not a turning point. Um, we will always face right-wing extremism. We will always have extremists in our country. Um, what should be a turning point is how we deal with this, how authorities deal with this. And there are still so many questions. Even a, a year later, we still have all these questions that, are, that don't have any answers, you know, like why wasn't police really uh, able to be reached? Um, why couldn't there be help earlier? Uh, um, why was a door locked? Still all these questions that really give the families so much, um, yeah, um, well, I don't really know how to say it. it, it it's so much grief, you know, mm, it's, it's mm. really uh, still a bad situation. Okay, well, th that investigation, of course, is continuing. Uh, yesterday, the head of the Central Council of Jews in Germany, Josef Schuster, he said that many of those affected by the Hanau shootings are still suffering the attack's consequences. Uh, he also noted that, uh, that the perpetrator did not become radicalized in a vacuum. Now, that last point he made there suggests an enabling environment. What do you see as the main problems facing Germany today in its effort to address violent radicalization on the far right? Well, we have to say that um, this person was known as someone um, who was radical. Um, he had said this, you know, everybody heard this uh, before. He still had a gun, for example. Um, he, he, he still could walk around and give his hate to others. We I don't really know where he personally had his hate from, but we still know that his father um, is acting, you know, he's not murdering people, but he's still uh, talking in this way in the same place where all these people live and all the families live. And uh, yeah, we have a society that... Um, kind of, um, I mean, like all societies, you have extremism, of course, you have people um, who hate others. The biggest question is, what does the rest do against this? Mm. And I must say, I'm a little bit, um, um, how, how can you say, you know, I'm, I'm, I was shocked when I heard our Minister for Interior Affairs just a few weeks ago talking about extremism in Germany, and he mentioned Islamist, he mentioned clan criminality, and he meant Arab clan criminality, which is a case, of course, um, but he said no word to right-wing extremists. Mm. And I think that this is a real problem, that we don't address it directly. You're referring to Horst Seehofer, of course. How big of a threat is far-right extremism to Germany itself, in your opinion? Is democracy in this country under threat by that? Well, actually, we saw it in the U.S. and we see it also in um, in Germany. It is a threat to every country, but we have it here um, in a way that we really have to act against it. And I think it's so important that people who have a, a, a migrant background, I mean, we call migrants still people of third and fourth generation. And um, if we do this, uh, we have to do something also that don't, they don't lose confidence um, in the authorities and the government governments and the parliaments. So this means, um, yes, we have to deal with it. Yes, there is a threat of right-wing extremism in this country. We saw these people in front of the parliament, I mean, for the, in front of the Bundestag already, and we know exactly that they're not really accepting people like me and, and all the military and others who have parents who came from Turkey or other countries as Germans. They just don't accept us. And we have to show that we, the rest, you know, like everyone who really defends democracy, belong together and we stand together. And I think we do it, but it's not sufficient. We also need answers, of course, to questions like in this case. Ms. Urzos, thank you very much for talking with us. That was Adan Urzos, member of the Bundestag for Germany's SPD party. Thank you.